Last weekend's Pure Silk Bahamas LPGA Classic was the official start of the LPGA season. In the field was Letitia Beck, a player who literally carries the hopes of an entire nation on her shoulders as the first golfer from Israel to earn a card on the PGA or LPGA tours. We asked the 23-year-old what it's like to be one of the sport's true trailblazers. For me being the first professional golfer on any tour, you kind of get used to it because since I was younger, um, I was always the first Israeli. So I went to boarding school and then, you know, I competed in junior golf in the States and I was the first one to win. And then I go to college and I'm the first one to go. And so I knew it was going to happen eventually. So it's just, uh, you get used to be the only one. Letitia is heading into her second full-time season on the tour, but she's been living away from home since the age of 14. That's when she moved to Florida to attend the IMG Academy, and since then, golf has been her life. In Israel, we don't have a golf channel, so it was never like, I never, so I don't know about like the history as much as others, and I know, you know, I know that they're good golfers, but I'd never really seen them play. Um, so now when I do see them, you know, they're good. Um, they're very good, but I can, I can become as good as they are. Um, and, you know, being here, I can see that. Israel only has one 18-hole course. That's where Letitia started golfing at the age of nine. A talented athlete, she quickly showed potential, but the only way to really see where her game was at involved taking a serious leap into the deep end. That became a pattern in her life going forward. The golf instructor told me to try to play the Israeli Open, the ladies, because we didn't have junior. Well, we didn't have girls. I was the only girl. And so we said, okay, why not? My mom caddied for me, and uh, I ended up winning when I was 12. And that's, you know, that's when I decided to concentrate on golf and drop all the other sports I was doing. And, Instead of going twice a week and play, and I, I just went almost every day. That proved to be a very good decision. After graduating from the IMG Academy, she spent four years at Duke University. She was twice an All-American and helped Duke win the national team title. If all goes to plan this year, she'll also be able to add Olympian to her resume. It's going to be the first time that I'm going to be part of like an Israeli team. Um, so that's really exciting. Um, when we had team events or individuals and teams, I'll always be the only one standing with the Israeli flag, which is so embarrassing. I'm sure all the other girls still remember me as the only player from Israel who like the Israeli flag. And I still cannot imagine the pressure that I'm going to have because it's something that's very important to me, representing my country and just the history we had and my family and just representing them is just like, for me, it's, a, it's amazing. The LPGA event in the Bahamas gave Letitia and her fellow pros the chance to meet another athlete who's headed to Rio. In a country where track and field is huge, Stephen Gardner is the Bahamas 400 meter champion and national record holder. So who better to give a lesson on how to make a flying start? A few times I met like judo girls and surfing and it's for me like I love sports and just seeing another athlete that is really good at what they do, for me, I like you can give me something that I will be more excited about and it's just I love sports and really interesting to me to see you know different sports and I, I enjoy myself playing different sports so for me it was, it was very neat to see someone that is you know love what they do and someone very athletic. The entire golf industry is hoping that the sports return to the Olympics will introduce the game to a whole new group of fans. Letitia holds similar hopes for golf in her home country. In a nation of 8 million people, Israel only has around 1,000 registered golfers. People ask me here, when I go to Israel, if people notice me, I'm like, no. <laughs> Maybe in my town, because we are like 4,000 people. But other than that, not really. It's not big at all. It's going to take a lot of, you know, time to try to change that. Having, you know, myself being here, I think it can, you know, bring a little bit more awareness. Also in the culture, hopefully more people in Israel are going to know more about golf and know that it's not just for older people and wealthy people. And so I hope to help a little bit 